Yeah, yeah, I'm on live and yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely, the people are hearing you right now. So let the listeners know who is GP. Yeah, definitely. GP is a humble artist from Jamaica in the, the rural area of Jamaica, which is Saint Mary. Humble reggae dancer artist, and we 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 think and speak positive and do positive songs. Yeah. For real, for real. So, you know, I know St. Mary is the place where Lady Saw, Sizzla, Capleton, so many great artists have come from. Yeah. Is that an inspiration yeah. for you? Yeah, it's a great inspiration and, you know, I I'm love, I'm love that, you know, so the yeah. parish is, you know, a great and so many great people come from St. Mary. Also, Barry Salmon and Ninja Man, you know? Yeah, for real, for real. It's a definite uh, place full of talent, for sure. Definitely. So, you know, let's talk a little bit about you. How did your musical journey begin? How did it all start for you? Well, um, definitely growing up um, as a youth, I mean, I always locked to the radio. So I was like drawn to the music. And couldn't definitely say I was born for music, but the, the music found me. I always around the music. So the music just always with me, you know. And growing up in a tender age around my aunt, um, she usually attend this um, Jehovah Witness congregation. So going to that um, church helped me to to build my comprehension skill, my writing skill, and my knowledge and understanding of words and and paragraphs. So that create um some kind of influence on me to write write music. For real, for real. You know what? Yourself and many other artists from JA, they always speak that their foundation came from the church. So. Tell us a little something about that. Is there a history within that from J.A.? Well, I mean, the, the church, you know, is a, there's a foundation of the church, whether you, you go sing on choir okay. or, or, you know, create you know, the writing skills. For me, it's kind of different. Cause many other artists, you hear they sing on choir, but there was no choir for me to sing. Okay. Or, uh, DJ, it, was, it was just the comprehension skill, most reading and understanding how to to, to, to comment a line or a sentence or a paragraph and bring it forward to understanding to the world. For real, for real. So, you know, speaking of that, you know, your music is very um, upbeat, very conscious, very together, I feel. And some of the music that you're bringing is just pure vibes. I have to big you up for that. So, who would you like to collab with for the future? Who are you thinking about? Well, um, definitely, um, I don't really have no specific person okay. if you say yeah with a color with but cause music depends on the energy and the vibe of the person. Yeah. You know? And the whole concept of where they want to go or what what they what they do. But um speaking of it you know the tip of my tongue, I mean chronics is definitely a conscious and positive youth. So I mean I mean I do a color with them in you know, any day, any time, you know. Yeah, for real. So if Chronix is listening, then of course, <laughs> you know what, we're putting it out there for sure. So, you know, we spoke of a few names earlier about influences. Who else influences you? I mean, yeah, um, growing up, um, you have Bob Marley, um, um, and Tenasa. I grew up on listening a lot, um, especially Tenasa. Okay. The theme style was kind of different, and, you know, so... Those are the main influence on those those days, you know. Right. And and when you, when you, when I think about, I mean, writing skills, you know, a bugle now, him bugle, him have great writing skills, so you know. Yeah, for real, uh, yeah. definitely. So you know, being in the music business yourself, learning the trade, learning what it's all about. Where do you see reggae and dancehall ending up? Do you think it's going to be positive? Well, I mean, it depends on the mindset of the, the, the generation coming up. Because, okay. I mean, the, 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 the founders can lay, 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 lay the foundation, but it's up to the, the new generation where they're going to take it. Yeah. But the foundation of the reggae and the dance hall is already laid, so they can't destroy that. It's just we, or the younger generation, is to maintain that. And we, and the younger generation, if they keep a positive mind and uplift them, Ed, the dance all the reggae music we go high sky i mean you know for real for what real definitely definitely you know speaking of music and positivity 
The two songs that I really like from yourself is Poverty and They Don't Know. Tell us something about them songs. Yeah, I mean, um, Poverty is a song where definitely, I mean, every other individual can resonate to that. And a song that um, created a song that while, you know, doing a 95, I mean, it's like, you know, going to work, like, you know, every day and the end of the week, I mean, the, the, the salary is just like basically built. So, yeah. I mean, I said, oh, I, after we're done with the salary built, it come like, say, yeah, me, 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 nah, I see my way through, you see, it's come like this is slavery and, you know, me nah benefit. Yeah. So that's how that song they come about, you know, and we kind of mix it with some Swahili African language in it, you know, who am I sucking, you see, yeah. which means public is like slavery, you know, mm, and they, know, they don't know, I mean, yeah, that a great influence got part of it, you know, um, influence on how I grew up, you know. I never grew up on a father and think mother was poor. So then again, you know, those lines was came in naturally and other um, lines came in where I grew up around people who been through certain things, through, you know, poverty and, you know, things where, where people live off our attracted by the environment because you don't know say people i mean live off of the environment where they're going yeah. yeah for real yeah i'm definitely going to be playing those two tracks in particular um i definitely felt they don't know as well i thought that was a really deep and powerful song so keep keep it going for sure and you know what i appreciate you telling your story and you know about your dad and things because it can be quite hard so big respect for that for speaking out about it yeah, man, man. Has. For real, for real. So, you know, speaking of your music, what do you think you as an artist can bring to the music and to the world through your music? Well, I mean, I bring positiveness, you know, and I try to encourage positive thinking. And with positive thinking, the world can become positive. So I try to reach out to all of the people them where where if you go down to, uh, you know, a narrow road, I mean, I always try to think positive, think ahead and also, yeah, you know, if you, if you put your mind and focus and do what you have to do, things can be better. And we want to uplift every, everybody, each and everybody, and also, say, yeah, once you're living, you now you, you have a purpose. So, I mean, just put your mind to what you want to achieve and, and go at it, you know? Definitely. I like that, for real. So, you know, Going through the process of it and obviously COVID and all these other different issues that have arisen, what have you learned about the music business coming up into it? Um, the music, I mean, the music is it's a social thing. Yeah. So if if you know if if you know socialized with people out there physically, I mean, the music have hurt badly because um most people tune to this um live streaming and thing, but. People not feeling it that as if you are in the physical space of with the person or another person yeah. enjoying the beat, the the live, the natural beat of the music and feeling the passion. Yeah. So the COVID thing, it it, it, it make a, a real, real damper and damage on this industry for real. Mm, for real, for real. And you know, yourself coming up and you know making it through, bringing out music and so forth. What can you say to? other young people or, or anybody coming up into this business, what kind of advice would you give them? I would tell them, say, never give up, you know. Sure. Have, have self, self-confidence, focus. I mean, if you if, if, if try once in a record, try again. Yeah. And once, as you have, once you have life, you know, you, you can make it. Never never give up. Yeah. And you, you know what you want. No care what the next one tell you, say. You know what you want. So go at it. Move towards it, yeah. is it? And don't be that dis- distracted by by any anybody, anyone, any object, is it? For real. You know where you want. You know your goal. You know your purpose. Yeah. Definitely, for real, for real. And you know, during this time, has there been new projects that you've been bringing out? And tell the listeners about them. Yeah, we have some. We have two project. Um, yeah, coming out. Um. Um, around the end of the year, early next year, um, due to the, this whole COVID, I mean, I haven't got a chance so, to really do what I really want to do. So it put a whole concern by But early December or early or in January, I'll be having two, two new tracks out ready, positive music out there. One is Choice, 
I mean, no one is warrior. We are warrior, warrior, warrior. Out in the buckle feel every day. Energy I can enslave. Warrior, warrior. Yeah, you know? Yeah, for real, for real. It has a plot to stop me go left This in the hands of God and I saw me rule My life on earth and my heaven Charging to the valley of death Me no carry no fear To buck and bleed and me no shed no tear Smoke up on a weed and me still have my sanity And for you for what I mean no worship vanity Hey, hey DJ Cat, we a warrior, warrior You know, for, for real, for real So you know what, yeah. let the listeners know What's next for you um, and also your socials? How can they link you? Yeah, as I'm saying, I have them two songs coming out um, December or early January. Yeah. And, and with my social media, um, GP and IG, GP Media. So that is G-H-E-E-P-M-E-D-I-A. You can catch me on Facebook, um, GP Alf. Yeah. yeah, and you can Google me also as well, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So you know what, you kind of did a little bit of it already, but I'm going to ask you, would you be up for singing a little something else for the listeners out there? Another song? Yeah, man. Yeah, man, definitely, man. Okay, when you're ready. Yeah, man, this one is called Choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. Hey. Would you be homeless for a year, knowing another here, you be a billionaire? I full of belly, no one tomorrow, you got no food to feed. God knows, life got no guarantee. A rich man I said tomorrow, I pack up all the wealth, while the poor man said tomorrow, provide itself. Before you build a spliff, no say knowledge of your strength, you go build yourself. God knows, me no know, me no know. What if we do? Ooh, me want to know the right choice, the right time to make a move. God knows. Yeah, God knows. Yeah, no, that is God knows choice. Yeah. Yes, for real, for real. Big, 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 big respect each and every time. And of course, yeah. anything else you would like the listeners to know about GP? Um, anything you want to tell them before we go? Yeah, man, I'm going to say look out for GP, man. Progressive, I mean, positive song coming out. You know, always, I can't depend on me for positive things. I mean, the COVID kind of damp for certain things, but look out for we after the COVID finish. You know, we just go on do the thing. So when things get back on track, you know, so we're ready, hot and burning to do some positive music to uplift the world once again. I mean, I say big ups, Natalie from Sky Vice Record for making this possible. Respect and Always. Yeah, big respect to Natalie every time, for real. Yeah. So, with that said, you know, just so that we've got it clear, so the listeners know, how can they link you one more time, just so that they've got it? Yeah, man, on IG, man, GP Media, G H E E P M E D I A. Yeah, man, catch me on Facebook as GP of G H E E S P S P. Space Alf, yeah, man, definitely, man. And you can Google me also, and you can link Natalie and Sky Voice Record, yeah, man, definitely. Big respect, you know what? I want to say thank you to you, you know, coming on, speaking to us, always a pleasure. And you know, I'm sure we'll see you in the future, yeah, yeah, man, always, man. Once life, <laughs> you have to see me, man, definitely, definitely, for real. So, big respect, and have a good rest of the day. Yeah, man, give thanks, DJ Cat, you know? Anytime, anytime. Respect. Yeah, man, as. Yes, people, please do go and support GP. Go and check him out. Go and see what he's all about. He's got some great music, great vibes, okay? If you're missing the interview or he just came, okay, don't forget it will also be on my YouTube channel, so you can check it out there. But right now, we're going to be playing two tracks of GP, okay? We've got They Don't Know, and of course, we've got the great tune of Poverty, so keep it locked in. Here we go. This is our voices moving. Yeah, yeah. That's the sounds of GP. This one's called They Don't Know. You just don't know. You may touch my skin. You can't feel me pain. I'm not blind. That's a vibe. Please do go and support each and every artist. Once again, we're playing another track from GP. This one's called 